Can you guys see how late it is? Oh my god, hopefully I can get this video up in time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about the Yeezy 700 V1s in the analog colorway. Now this is set to drop tomorrow the 27th of April and the retail price is 380 Australian dollars which is the same as all the previous 700s. Now overall, I actually really do like these sneakers. I feel like it is the perfect spring summer shoe. Even though it is autumn in Australia at the moment, I think in the States it is spring for you guys. So you guys could probably think about picking up a pair if you're after a new pair of light colored sneakers. I know that the 700 silhouette isn't everyone's cup of tea. It's really up to you whether you like a slightly more chunky silhouette and it kind of has a really retro dad vibe which I personally really really like. If you guys have a closer look, this sneaker is essentially a mix of like a creamy white color as well as some neutral gray overlays. Just like all the previous 700 silhouettes, the upper is a mix of mesh, suede as well as leather and it also has some hidden reflective detailing so if you're in low lighting or you take a photo with flash you'll be able to see these details come through so for example under this mesh paneling over here when you take a photo with flash you can see the three stripes come through which I think is quite cool and there's also some reflective detailing on the heel area. I think most people's favorite colorway for the 700 V1s is the OG Waverunner which I kind of agree but if you are into something more neutral then I feel like this might suit you because some people find that the OG ones were too colorful but I really like that. Then again I feel like a little bit biased because I'm also a Yeezy fan and I just kind of want to collect every single colorway. This is very much a tonal look and it does have the black outsole just like the OG one and just like the salt ones as well. Now in comparison to the salt ones you guys can see that it is obviously very different. This one looks a lot lighter compared to the salt and this obviously has way more of a blue tinge compared to the analog. I feel like I would get a lot of wear out of this because it is such a neutral colorway. You kind of can't go wrong with an all white sneaker. And also, I feel like the 700s goes well with everything as well. If you haven't tried a pair of 700s before, you might find them to be a little bit chunky because they do look a little bit more white when you have them on feet for the first time. But I think I'm so used to them that I don't even find them that chunky anymore. Now in comparison to the 700 V2, now this is the static colorway. You guys can see that this is more gray compared to this. Now if I had to pick between the two, I feel like this is a little bit hard but I am a huge fan of the 700 V2 statics. But if you don't already own a pair of 700s, then you could probably think about picking up a pair of these. In terms of the color, I feel like this kind of falls under the same category as the 500 blush. So you guys can see, they're kind of in the same family, I guess, except like the blush is a lot darker, but it has the same kind of neutral color, which I really, really like. I feel like I don't have too much to say about this sneaker because we've all seen what the 700 silhouette looks like. In terms of the details, detailing is all the same with the previous releases. It has the same midsole. The outsole is a black outsole and of course it has the full length boost. So it is really comfortable but personally for me, I feel like nothing beats the comfort level of a 350 V2 or even the 500s. I find that the 700 is a little bit stiff to begin with. Having said that though, I don't think they're not comfortable. They're just not as comfortable compared to the other Yeezy silhouettes. And in terms of sizing, personally for me, I find that the 700 V1s run a little bit small, so I recommend going half a size up. So for me, I'm usually a men's US 6, so in these ones, I wear a men's US 6.5. Also keep in mind that all Yeezys are listed in men's sizing, so if you only know your women's shoe size, you can just Google like Adidas size chart and you'll be able to figure out your men's sizing. I've also done a video all about Yeezy sizing, so I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out. Um, but yeah, overall, I feel like I don't have too much to say about these sneakers. If you like a pair of white sneakers that has a retro dad vibe, then this is the sneaker for you. Now, there will be a lot more upcoming Yeezy releases, so if you're not a fan of this colorway, I'm sure you can wait for the next drop. I'm really excited for the 700 V2s in the Venta colorway, which is the all black one. I think that is something that I would definitely want to get my hands on. And what else? I think that's the 350 V2s that's coming up as well. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys 
guys think about the analog colorway and whether you'll be picking up a pair of these. As usual, I'll link all the release details in the description bar below so you guys can check it out. And if you guys are wondering what I'm wearing, I'll link it down below as well because I tend to get questions about what I'm wearing. Um, this hoodie that I'm wearing though is so oversized and it is really cozy but can you believe this is an extra extra small? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!